All right, so here we go, watching the storm as it rolls out of the deep south over the next couple of days, heads for the mid south and then goes to our south, too. Again, the temperatures are not ideal for a big storm system here. If we were in Arctic air, sure, we'd be able to get at least a foot in many spots. But since we lose a lot of time in the beginning of the storm, kind of dawdling through mixed precipitation or some rain or even some slow accumulation, that's where uh, we knock back the totals, right? Because you can't extend them and you can't make the storm colder. So there you go. The second half is the one where we make hay. And it's a long duration event, too. This will go deep into Sunday night, too. Maybe towards midnight, even the first or the last flakes, rather, uh, could be into the wee hours of Monday morning. Poor travel in the afternoon and evening on Sunday, too. So here's a rough timeline. You can see as the storm moves in, this is into Sunday around 10 a.m. After this point, I think things start getting a little bit more hairy as the storm starts pulling away. It's intensifying. That's key. And the all levels of the atmosphere, this storm is going to be stacked up just off of Nantucket, and that will throw back some snow. So if we had to make any changes, honestly, they may be on the south shore where we may at least tweak the numbers a little bit, maybe juice them up a little bit maybe tomorrow because of that backlash snow. We'll get into that in a second. This is Boston. The timeline, you can see we're mostly wet at least through 7 o'clock, and then we start to get into the snow. The heavier bursts of snow will be between 1 and 3. This is greater Boston. This goes up into the north shore, the south shore, and metro west. This is not including Worcester. Worcester is mostly snow from start to finish. It's just not accumulating a whole lot. There it is Saturday night at about 28 degrees, 30 degrees, 31, 32. Look at these temperatures at 730 in the morning. Even though they look like they're cold enough to support snow, in many respects they're not because of the wind coming off of 44, 45 degree water. That's contaminating the lowest levels of the atmosphere, and that changes those snowflakes over to raindrops. We saw that all last winter. Finally, we wait for that cold to come in by afternoon. Look at these numbers fall back into the 20s. Now it's sticking even down through Plymouth and Marshfield and then eventually on Cape Cod as well. So moderate uh, impact on the road Sunday morning, Sunday noontime. It's in the afternoon that it's most pronounced. And Greater Worcester, I think it's moderate to high any time from mid-morning on through the afternoon. So it'll be a little bit trickier there where we have those higher snowfall amounts. Worcester itself in that 5 to 8 range, just to the north on 190. You pick it up from Princeton to Lemonster to Gardner, and then over towards Pepperell and Townsend up into Nashua. You're in that 8 to 12. This is where the snow's a little bit fluffier. This is where it's sticky. All shades of blue are sticky. And this is more oatmeal and just kind of mashed potatoes. Going to make me hungry. Lynn through Brockton. Brockton right on that three-inch line. So is Boston. We'll be right near those values in both those cities. And Dedham as well. More three or four. Reading is in the three to five. And so is Lexington and Natick as well. This is, again, where we're battling between that rain and snow in the first part of the storm. And we just can't make it up on the backside, even with that switchover and even with the colder air coming in. Gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour on the North Shore and the South Shore. And then gusting 45 to 55 out on the Outer Cape. Our temperatures in the wind chill when we're cleaning things up will fall back into the teens on Sunday night and late Sunday into early Monday. This is very cold air on the backside of the storm system, even single digits possible on Monday. Highs tomorrow, by the way, 35 degrees in the peace and quiet and full sunshine. What a Friday forecast. Not so fun in the 10 day. There are three storms in the pipeline. The one Sunday, then we have Wednesday with heavy rain and strong winds and whatever snow is vanishing. And then another storm possibly by next weekend. You see the pattern here on the weekends. We're back up with a break.